This guide will demonstrate how to download, import, and set up the new 2023 Dash Planner. The first thing you will need is a note annotating app. For the iPad, the most common choices are Good Notes and Notability. The Dash Planner is designed to work best for iPad, but can be used on most Android devices as well. All the instructions will be for iPad, but you should be able to apply similar instructions to your Android device. Once purchased via Etsy or directly from our website, you will be given access to an interactive download dashboard PDF. I recommend saving this dashboard PDF to your device so you can re-download any of the files at any time. Tap to open. The file will open in either your web browser or your iPad's files app. This is an interactive dashboard where you can build and download your planner. It is also where you can access your included planner accessories such as the digital stickers and covers. To build your planner, tap the planner link. Here you can choose between portrait or landscape orientation. Once selected, you can choose the design of the weekly layout. You can tap on the different thumbnails to get a better view of each design. Once you have chosen your weekly layout, you can then choose between two different daily layouts. You will then get to choose between light mode or dark mode. The last option is to choose if you'd like your monthly and weekly layouts to start on Monday or Sunday. Making this last selection will automatically download your custom planner. The planner file will be saved to your iPad's downloads folder. Tap on the planner file to open it. Select the share icon in the upper right corner. Choose your app from the list. If you do not see your app in the list, tap more and choose the app from the complete list. This will open the planner file in your app. You can rename the planner if you'd like and choose a specific folder to save the planner to. Now that we have our planner open, I'll be going through some digital planner basics. When you first download your app, most Note apps default display is set to vertical scroll. I like to change this to horizontal scrolling so that it feels more like an interactive planner and less like a list of pages. In GoodNotes, to use the planner's hyperlinks, you will first need to select the Read Only tool. Selecting this tool will allow you to tap any of the planner's hyperlinks and interactive tabs. You can use the Pen tool to write in your notes and plans. You can also use the onboard keyboard or connect an external keyboard to type in your planner as well. I'll now be going over the included page templates. You can use these page templates directly from their original locations, or you can copy, paste, and move the pages around to anywhere in the planner. Say you would like to add a meal planning page next to your weekly page. In GoodNotes, you simply copy the template and navigate to your desired location. Once you're in your new location, tap the Add Page option and select Paste Page. Now when you open your weekly layout, your meal plan is located one swipe to the right. To copy and paste pages in Notability, open the Pages tab to the right. Tap on the three dots and choose Copy. Scroll to the new desired location, tap the three dots again, and choose Paste. This can be done to any of the other page templates in the planner, allowing you to customize the planner to your needs. To help you organize all these pages, the planner comes with eight section dividers. It helps to think of these sections like dividers in a binder or notebook. Label the section and paste in any notepaper or page templates you'd like to use for that section.
Now when you click on the arrow next to the section, you can easily locate all the pages you have related to that category. This planner comes with over 1,400 digital stickers. The stickers are available in three formats, a sticker book for GoodNotes, collection files for GoodNotes elements, and individual PDF files to use in all other note apps. If you'd like to use one of the sticker books, you can download the sticker book file and import into GoodNotes using the same process we used for the planner. Once you've found a sticker you'd like to use, select the lasso tool. You'll want to double check to make sure that images is turned on in the lasso settings, or you won't be able to select the sticker. Draw a rough selection around the sticker and tap copy. Go back to your planner and navigate to the page where you'd like to use the sticker. Tap to paste the sticker. You can resize, rotate, and move the sticker as you'd like. In GoodNotes, you may notice that sometimes the sticker goes askew. This can be remedied by using the image tool and resizing from there. If you prefer using the elements feature, select the collections option to download. In GoodNotes, tap on the elements tool and scroll all the way to the plus sign. Choose import from and locate your desired color from your downloads and tap Create. There is also a sticker book section included within the planner. This sticker section allows you to paste in all your favorite stickers so you can quickly locate them while planning. You have the choice of downloading all individual PNG files in one large zip, or you can download them individually by color. Your chosen selection will download to your downloads folder. If the file saves as a zip, tap to uncompress the folder. Once unzipped, you'll find a folder for each color of stickers. In this example, I'll be using Notability. With your planner open, open your files in a second window. You can float this window or open it in the split screen. Locate the sticker you'd like to use, long press, and move the sticker over to your planner. Tap on the sticker to resize and move. To change the color of the planner's cover, download and import the cover PDF file as its own document. Once open, navigate to the cover you'd like to use. Copy the page and go back to your planner, navigating to the cover page. Paste in the new cover page and delete the old cover.
If you are using iOS, you can view and edit your planner from a Mac or iPhone by downloading GoodNotes or Notability to those devices as well. As long as you are connected within the same iCloud account, your planner will sync and update across all your devices. This makes using your planner handy whether you are on your iPad, at your computer, or on the go. If you need a refresher on any of these steps, you can reference the user guide included in the download dashboard. You can also check out the user guide I put out last year that goes over the dated pages and page templates in greater detail. If there's anything in particular you would like to see an in-depth video on, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments. And until next time, happy planning.